can you help me dispel some myths, or would you mind um, responding to, say, uh, charges that the use of marijuana inhibits one's mental faculties as far as memory uh, generation? Yeah, that's actually a very interesting question with very interesting answer. So, based on this far from equilibrium thermodynamics, and there's stuff, some of my stuff on the web that you can see that it goes into more details about that, but the way life works, it's a balance of opposing forces, all right? And kind of the, one of the main balances is inflammatory versus anti-inflammatory, because that has to do with how energy and mass flows through us. The food we eat, the waste we produce, we're basically bioelectric organisms, you know? So, now, we talked about memory, and of course, I, for a second, forgot where we were going. But the idea of remembering and forgetting, again, it's, an idea, it's a balance. How would you like to remember all of the most traumatic things in your life and have them dominant in your mind? Would not be good. We call this PSTD, post-traumatic stress disorder, that our poor soldiers are coming back with, with increasing numbers, with increasing frequency. Well, how does your body deal with that? It turns out that your endocannabinoid system is involved in helping you forget unpleasant memories. Mm. Isn't that what our soldiers need? Yeah. When they're coming back with PSTD, as well as other things, it regulates neurogenesis, and here these guys are getting you know, their heads blown off. They need anti-inflammatory activity in their brain. How does your brain normally respond to inflammatory activity? Cannabinoid activity. You know, you have head injury or stroke, your body makes endocannabinoids to turn down the inflammation to protect your brain. It also directly protects your gain, brain, even against things like sarin, nerve gas. So all of our soldiers should have a joint in their pocket. They shouldn't smoke it because they're being exposed to Legionella's disease, and not to Legionella, to Leishmania, a parasite in the sand fly that needs a strong inflammatory response. But if they got gassed with nerve gas, they should toke right up because in animal studies, you can eliminate, if you do it within uh, five minutes, 87% 87 of the nerve cell loss. And if you do it within 45 minutes, 80% of the nerve cell loss due to the neuroprotective properties of cannabinoids. But back to memory again. You know, we are this balancing act. And yes, if you're smoking a lot of pot, you're not going to have as good a memory, short-term memory in particular. And that's true. But, so what? You know, why should that be... Well, you you know you don't remember as good as you're supposed to, so we're going to throw you in jail. Okay. You know, again, who would come up with that kind of idiocy other than blips? Well, you know, I think that there might be some people who would say that um, it, it uh, can create problems with your um, your performance at work. Let's say if you're in a very detail-oriented position. And and if you were a very detail-oriented type of person, you probably already are maybe have reduced cannabinoid activity. I don't know, I'm just suggesting a possibility. And you wouldn't be as pothead. We have different biochemical properties. And those predispose us to success and failure. That's normal. We are a population of different people who should ideally work together as best we can to move forward to succeed in the future. Uh, okay, could you respond to those who would say that what you're offering as far as this information is, are actually dangerous messages to say our youth into our society? Well, that's ludicrous. How could the truth be dangerous? You, you know, if we hide from the truth, does that make it not real? This is idiocy. Let's say that the risks, um, as they are right now uh, for marijuana usage, would be um, the loss of your liberty, say if you're incarcerated. Which is why we got to get off our butts and make changes. Um, I, I've been consuming cannabis since I was 16 years old. I started college when I was 16 years old. I have a terrible memory. I had a terrible memory before I used cannabis, and I still have a terrible memory. Cannabis certainly hasn't improved it. But also, I'm successful. You know, I have a decent job. I've had three families. I have wonderful children. 38-year-old daughter with three grand, with two grandkids, a 28-year-old daughter with one grandkid, and I have a three and a five-year-old. So obviously it hasn't impaired my reproductive capacity. We are, even though we've been divorced and separated, we're all one big happy family. Everybody loves everyone else. You know, where has my life been harmed by my cannabis use? I think it's been help, helped me, especially because I have 
spinal issues and back pain issues. And when you have inflammation, it promotes degradation. So the cannabis is not simply relieving pain, it's preventing the degradation. I'm 60 years old. You know? 60 years old? Yeah. I've been using an anti-aging drug for 43 years, as well as living the right kind of life as best as I could, as I understood it, as I've learned more and more. You have to exercise, you have to eat right. Every time you buy food, you're voting for what kind of food you want available. You know, if you go and eat McDonald's crap all the time, well, that's what you're voting for. That's what you're putting into your body. That's what you're making yourself mm -hmm. out of. Right, right. Um, you put in the, those proteins and, and things like that help remake the... The tissues in your body. You want to have healthy food that's not laden with chemicals and things that we know to be bad for you. You know, insecticides tend to be very bad for you. You know, and part of the reason we need it is because we have overpopulation. Why do we have overpopulation? Because we have idiots who say, well, we shouldn't have birth control. Again, our leaders. You know, an interesting thing, there's no antonym that I've been able to find for the word leadership. And I propose that the antonym for leadership is government which is why we've got to replace blips with flips in mankind's survival.